sideline. Dr. There was a great fear that Germans were on the cusp of deploying a nuclear weapon, and it was, of course, imperative to stop them. It is looking more and more as if it was not the Americans but the Germans who won the race to create a ready-to-use nuclear weapon. When we incorporate the information, I will now present to you. But Diebna, who worked in Stadilm, did, and he was 100% on board with the cause. The Allies later assessed him in the summer of 1945 as follows. Very friendly on the outside, an unpleasant personality who cannot be trusted. Dr. Hans Kammler was appointed as a Führer's representative for radiation research just before the completion of the first functional German atomic bomb that we know of from the many post-war reports that I have cited to you in earlier episodes. On March 4th, 1945, at 9.26 in the evening, the first atomic bomb was detonated on the test site, military training area near Ordorf in Thuringia, the so-called Triangle. With a cable pole that stretched over a distance of 300 meters, the bomb was pulled towards a steel mast 32 meters high and detonated at the height of 6 meters above or near a group of prisoners assembled there. It was the first of its kind in Germany.